Welcome to Green Hell. My name is Brian Kex, and on behalf of the team at Creepy Jar, I'll be walking you through 20 minutes of uncut footage from Green Hell. These main features will all be present when Green Hell hits early access this summer. Green Hell is all about survival and self-preservation. Our inspection mode lets you check for any ailments picked up in-game. As you can see, we've found a wound that wasn't treated in time and is now infected. We'll need to figure out how to heal ourselves. Luckily, our notebook here contains info on discovered wounds and treatment methods. These will be unlocked over time in-game. Before we head out, let's also check our smart watch. This indicates all our needs for proteins, fats, carbs, and hydration. The first step for treatment here is finding maggots for maggot therapy. Let's see if we can find some to eat up our infected goodness. In Green Hell, there's a large variety of animals, from small creatures like frogs, fishes, to larger, more deadlier predators. Fish are a great source of food. Uh, let's try and catch one after we've healed our infected wound. In order to do this, we'll need to craft a spear, which requires a blade, rope, and long stick. Let's also keep our eyes open along the way and see if we find any of these items. Okay, we've finally found the maggots needed to treat our infected wound. Uh, let's pick them off this corpse, then imply them from our backpack onto the infected area. We'll let them sit on the infected wound for a bit while we continue searching for our spear. Crafting is based on searching for recipes and discovering what items combine together in Green Hell. Before we are able to build the spear, we'll need to create a blade. So we'll take the rocks in our backpack here and put them together. After this now, we can take all the items that we need to create a spear, 
put them on our slate, and uh, now we have a spear to catch fish with. Collected a few fish now, which we can harvest. Animals are not only useful for current nutritional benefit, as shown previously on the smartwatch, uh, but they are also useful for bones, as we can craft other items with the prey that we capture. So the maggots that we previously applied to our infected wound have cleaned it free of infection. Now we can bandage it up to continue the healing process. We can take this leaf here, and previously we found some ash from a fire from before, and uh, put them together to have a bandage that also has some healing properties to it. In the Amazon, weather can change with a snap of a finger. These shifts in weather can last for a few minutes, or days, depending on the type of storm. Here's a perfect example of one of those predators we mentioned earlier. It's best for us to avoid this jaguar altogether. Here's a more friendly encounter with a few capybara. These animals are one of the many Amazon mammals rich in protein. When necessary, they provide a very solid sustenance, but we'll let them be this time. Here though, we've come across a trap placed previously. Different sized traps can be used to lure different types of prey. You'll collect information about each one and how you can build them over time.
This uh, cocona fruit is undocumented in our notebook. We've yet to try this fruit previously, so we have no information on its potential effects. In these scenarios, players can either test their luck by tasting this fruit, or leaving a bee and sticking to what they know. Previously created items like this small fire are also available via the notebook once created. Fires are started by ember. To create ember, we need to craft a tool, add kindling like a bird's nest we found before, and start rubbing them together. If the player has enough stamina left, they can fire up ember and then place it in the fireplace. There are many different tools and kindling types, making this process easier as you find more. Meat and fruits decay over time as well, and should be cooked or consumed before spoiling. Consuming raw or spoiled meat can be dangerous and lead to food poisoning in-game. Coconuts are a great source of hydration, so it's always good to have some around. We can also use these empty shells to fill up water.
It's good to have a torch at night. Animals are afraid of fire and are less likely to attack. Sadly, in this case, though, we don't have any ropes, so we'll have to go into the dark without any light. The Amazon's flora is also full of wonders in Green Hell, like mushrooms glowing at night. You can risk to eat it, or maybe cook it, or even try to heal a wound with it. Some effects might even be surprising. Drinking unsafe water in Green Hell is also a concern. Players might end up vomiting. As we've shown in this video, Green Hell is full of surprises, and full of unknowns. <laughs> 